Hi there everyone, it's Sarah here and I have a design team challenge video for you on behalf of Wild Orchid Crafts as part of their YouTube design team, The Wild Bunch. And the theme for this month's challenge was patriotic. Um, and with me being in the UK, um, I found it quite difficult. I wasn't sure what to do. Um, or what to base it on, or what project to make, but I've come up with something today and I hope that it fits the bill because this one just about had me stumped. <laughs> so without further ado, I will show you what I've done. I did a 12 by 12 layout and the 12 by 12 layout that I did was of my son's prom, which was June 2012. So I'll just take you through what I've, I've done here. Um, I used Paper Mania's Portobello Road patterned paper and it was this, it's like a Union Jack type um, paper at the background here and I backed it on blue just to make it sturdy. Um, now what I did was, I don't know if you can see this or not, if I can zoom in a little bit here it might be a bit easier. What I did was I stitched around the whole outside edge of the project, right the way around here. Um, and then what I did was I took a picture of my son in his kilt and I layered it onto some of the neutral patterned paper from the pack and some of the blue. And then what I did was I stuck everything down and ran this through the sewing machine. Um, I roughed up the edges of all the layers and I edged everything in black suit. Um, now there was a die cut piece that came with the kit. I wonder if it's here and if I can show you it. Um, and I used one of these as a layer and it, it was like this. So I've kind of used half of it, the other half is under here. Um, and I used some of uh, some tiny type letters and if I can show you that, it is things to always remember. Um, and on the other side, I put June 2012 as a tab coming out the picture. And I just used little, um, oh, what are they called? Studio G stamps to do that. And it was this set here that I used. It doesn't really have a a font um, on it that you can uh, pick one up by. Um, so where next? Where next? I don't know where to start. Um, I took some chipboard letters and these were scenic root and I painted them in uh, the colour of this paint was ultramarine blue and it was just a little tube that I had here. Um, so they've got about three or four coats on them and uh, they've come out quite nice. And then what else have I got? Right, onto the Wild Orchid craft products. Put this down here just now, maybe zoom out one so you can maybe see it. So what I used was their foundation blooms. Um, links to the product codes will be down below. Um, I used two different sizes. Um, I used 0.85 of an inch ones, and which are these smaller ones, and I've put the other ones away. Um, but it's the slightly bigger ones. So I've used a blue, a red, and a white, and what I've done is I stamped on them. I stamped them with black ink so that they've got script on them. Um, and then I put some of the solid cherry blossoms in each of the centres and I also used some of the small red rhinestones on that bottom corner. On the top corner again I stamped, I don't know if I can get in here, I stamped on the flower and then I put, these have got three and these are four millimetre red ones and then another blue cherry blossom. And then I've got some of the Divine Twine in red going round the bottom, but it's actually round the first sheet so that when I put the backing on it, it got covered up. 
So that's my July design team project. Um, I hope it it's okay. I'm not used to doing layouts. Um, I think I've maybe done three or four in about the last four years. So the only thing that was bothering me about the, the layout was this negative space down here. But I think I kind of like it. Um, I hummed and hawed about what I was going to put down here. And I tried different various things and I thought, no, I'm just going to leave it. I think enough's enough. It's got, you know, your eye follows it around the page kind of thing. So I'm just going to leave well alone. So don't forget to check out Wild Orca Crafts YouTube channel to see what the other design team members have come up with for their Patriotic July Design Team Challenge. And check out Wild Orca Crafts for all your flowery needs. Um, I'm going to head off now and uh, have a great week. And I'll see you at the weekend with another project. So. Bye for now.